all got dreams, we all want things, but what you gonna do for it, how you gonna move for it, what you gonna be? Hi everyone, it's Anne Marie from The Queen's Budget and today I am going to be cash stuffing my short and long term binders as well as uh, a few envelopes in my sinking fund binder and we're going to do a little bit of some challenges. So let's get started. I should have uh, $1,222 here. So let's count the money. We have 50, 1, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, that's 1,000. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So the money is correct. It's $1,222. So let's get started with my sinking funds. So if you're unfamiliar what sinking funds are, they are bills that come up yearly. So you save that particular amount for those bills. So in my sinking funds, um, I see a tax accountant once a year. I save for that. Rubbish removal, septic clean out, uh, gifts like birthdays, subscriptions, gym membership, continuing education, propane, the way I heat my house, holiday or all holidays, uh, cleaning services, side hustle, online shopping, and clothing. And in this particular video, I'm going to be placing... $20 in continuing education. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95 dollars. In propane, I'm placing $100. So in propane, I need $2,700 to pay for the year's, the year's worth of heat. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two thousand. One hundred, one fifty, one sixty, one seventy, one eighty, one ninety, two hundred. So I have twenty two hundred dollars here. I need another five hundred to fulfill it. And I need that money by August. Holidays are for all holidays, not just Christmas. We're coming up on Easter soon. Uh, in holidays, I want to save about 2000 a year. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1000. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1600. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, that's 1,700. And I'm adding $100, which will be 1,800. So I only need $200 and I'll be fulfilled for holiday. Uh, let's see. I want to put some money in my side hustle. I'm going to place $20. So I do sell on eBay and I'm starting an Etsy shop. So this money um, goes towards my side hustles. So let's add in the 20. So far I have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. 
So I pull from this envelope um, when I need things, you know, if I want to go to Staples to get something printed or source items for eBay. And for online shopping, I am going to place $20. Online shopping has 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 310, 20, 30, 40, 50, 360. So I'll put something on a credit card when I do online shopping and then pull from this envelope. In clothing, I'm placing $30. There's really no full amount that I want for this, but um, I just save for it. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 160. And that is it for my sinking fund binder. Moving on. I am going to be cash stuffing my short-term binder. So for pets, I'm adding $30. I have one particular cat that um, has a lot of ailments and he goes to the vet quite a bit. So uh, and his vet visits are usually over $500 a pop. So in pets, I have $100, $200, $300, $400, and $600. So far in pets. And he has an appointment coming up soon. We have to check his high blood pressure. He's on blood pressure meds. So that's that. In car, I'm placing $30. Now, I just purchased a car in January. So this money is in car. It's for everything. It's for maintenance, car tags, inspection, oil changes, and also saving for a new car. So um, this is an ongoing envelope. So let's go ahead and put the 30 in. I also uh, have saving challenges for all of these envelopes, um, which I do on another video. So for car so far, I have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 60, 70, 80, 90, 305. Appliances is getting $30 really need any appliance right now this is just in case something goes off I need a new microwave a new stove or refrigerator washer dryer anything like that or any type of repairs for those big appliances whoops sorry comes out of this account so I have 50 70 90 110 120 30 40 50 Home repair, I'm placing $30. I think we're going to be painting the inside of our house this summer. So in home repair so far, I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 20, 40, 60, 80, 550, 570, 590, 600, 630. So if we ever need to go to Home Depot and things like that, or if I put it on my Home Depot card, I actually take the money out of here to pay for it. Home renovation is getting 30 as well. This is if we want to do something big in our home. In home renovation, we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20. Ooh, these are stuck. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 
40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 600, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 620 so far. In debt, I'm placing $30 and I am debt free, but if I do get into debt, I'll be saving for it. So in debt so far, I have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 120. Okay, in mortgage, I'm placing $40. And these are just for extra mortgage payments. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 50, 65. And that is it for my short-term binder. We're going to move on now to my long-term binder. So uh, the difference between the short-term and the long-term is the short-term binder is anything within three years, and the long-term is three years or longer. So in Furnace, so this particular envelope is any maintenance I need on my furnace or on our well or if I need a plumber. Uh, but what I am doing in this envelope is I'm trying to save money for a new furnace in case mine ever dies. Uh, you know, in the middle of winter, you don't want to put a new furnace on a credit card. And they're, they're well over ten fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. So this is going to be an ongoing savings account for it. I am doing a $10,000 saving challenge which the money will probably go into here. So yeah, so let's see what I have so far. I have 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 8, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 6, 7, 8, 9, 6, so 960. So almost a thousand that I put, you know, 10, 15 dollars every paycheck in here, but also doing other saving challenges to bump this up. So for medical, I'm placing 20 dollars. I do have a health savings account, but this is um, just extra money in case I need to go to the emergency room or there's like um, any anything. Um, I'm trying to hold my health savings account for retirement, so I'm trying to save that money for that and just use money for co-payments uh, through money that I save. So in medical, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 65. So 165, I do have a saving challenge here that I think I'm going to be completing this month. I think it's for $500 for my medical. Might be $250, i am not sure. Uh, so emergency fund. So these saving challenges here, my medical emergency, my slush fund, these are all savings accounts. Um, I like to put about $2,000 a year in them, and um, then I put them in my high-yield savings account. So... Emergency, I have 10, uh, 100, 200, 3, 4, 450, 20, 40, 60, 80, 550, 20, 40, 60, 80, 650, 653, 635. I did not place the $20 in, so I'm going to do that right now. So I have 655 in here. Slush fund, I'm also placing 20. If I placed the 20 already in here, I'll know that at the end of my video. I get chit chatty. Uh, so I'm placing 20 in. So slush fund is for any savings account that I want to pull something immediately to buy something. The emergency is 
money that I'm saving in case I lose a job or I'm out of a job due to an illness. Uh, I'll have enough money um, for us to pay our, um, our bills. So slush fund has 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So 670. And I've always had a slush fund. A slush fund is uh, <laughs> a slush fund. I name it that because it's money that I save with um, other people not knowing about it. It's kind of like my little secret stash. Traveling. I have, I'm going to be placing 20 in here. And I'm almost done with my travel challenge. I think I'm saving like $2,500 in my travel saving challenge. And I believe I'm going to be able to fulfill that this month. So let's see. So I have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170. So this is going to get bumped up quite a bit. Retirement home, I have, I'm going to be placing 20 in. So we have 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 400, 10, 20, 35. It's amazing how much, when you're placing 20, 30 dollars in these, how much, how fast they add up. Uh, retirement, this is money that I want cash on hand when I retire. Uh, I do have a 401k, I have investments, and um, but I want to have cash on hand. Like let's say I want to buy a car when I'm retired or something like a major purchase. Um, so I want to have cash on hand. And I every year I put money into a high yield savings for this. So um, there's money there. So we're <clears throat> gonna do retirement is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40. So 140. And furniture is getting $20. And this is if I, uh, if we buy a, a retirement home, we wanna fill it with furniture. This is the money for that. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. So 155. And then landscaping also is getting $20. And so I have a thousand in the bank right now for landscaping. So I have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270. 280, 90, 330. So 1330 total in landscaping. Okay. So uh, the next one I'm going to do is the Every Little Bits Add Up Challenge. I am going to be placing two circles for each one. So I'm going to place two dollars here. One, two. This challenge is from Daisy Budgets on Instagram. You can actually go to her Instagram account. She has a little um, shopping icon that you press and you can go ahead and ask her through a DM um, to purchase this. So I should have 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. In the $5 I'm placing 2, 2 fives. So in the fives, I should have 70 now. There's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 
60, 70. So $70 is correct. In the $10, I'm saving two. So that's $20. And I should have 140. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, which is correct. And in the 20s, I'm saving two. So I should have 280. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay, in the 50s, I'm only adding 1, 20, 40, 50, so I should have 300. So I have 51, 52, 50, 70, 90, 300. And in the 100, I'm only adding one. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And I should have $600. One. Two, three, four, four fifty five, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty six. So that is correct. And that is it for my every little bit set up. Moving on now, um, I'm going to be working on my March monthly challenge. I actually have three challenges going on right now. So I have fulfilled a scratch off for 175. I'm also doing a color in for 360 and I am coloring in some shamrocks for $20 each. So I am going to be placing $140 in this challenge. So let me go ahead and color those in. All right, so I colored in $140 and I have 20, 40, 60, I have $100 left to put in here. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, and then in this one, I am going to be placing $150. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. All right, so let me color in. There's 30, 45, 60, there's 100, and then $50. All right. 
So, so far in these three challenges, I have 100, get that out, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 450, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, that would be 550, 560, 570, 580, 590, 600, 640, I had those out of sequence, 640, 650, 665. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, fifty. There's sixty. I have sixty dollars left. I know it's because I was talking. Um you probably all will know which ones they come out of. Um, I'm going to put uh, I'm going to put um, twenty dollars in retirement home. Actually, in my short term, I'm going to put 20 in home repair. And uh, 20 in home renovation. So 10, 15, 20. All right. And that is it, guys. I am so happy that you are here watching, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. This is just the beginning. I need a big change. Help me feel like living. I need a big swing. Home runs I'm hitting, and I'll never look back. Moving on till I get it all.